Okay, so this morning I am officially 21 years old. I really don't know what the goal is of this video. I do have a few things I want to say, I guess. Now, it's a very strange feeling to be 21 because it's like responsibility is the main thing that comes to mind when I think 21 years old. Think of getting my own business, um, or rather not getting, you never get a business, you build a business. So you need to be fast, 7 a.m. to 2 in the morning every day, but in the big picture, you need to realize nothing good is gonna happen for the next six years. But money is obviously a big thing now. And are buying cars and clothes and vacations that they can't afford to impress other people, and that was the point I was trying to make. And I think for now I'm going to take Gary V's advice and you know, live in the basement because it's cheaper. For me it sounds exciting to be 23, have no money, live in a basement for seven years and try to do your thing. I genuinely like that because I love the game. Renting a place, for example, it's very tempting. I'm a very big fan of meditation, so I, I, I love silence, you know, just being with my own thoughts and um, thinking what I'm doing, why am I doing it? Is there a better way of doing it? Have you tried meditating? Not much, no. Uh, okay, we'll talk about this at, at some point. Sure. I would urge you, Yes. okay? Because you're a little bit like me. I think you're a little hyper, right? Yes. Okay, I'm hyper. Yes. I've got a, I don't know whether it's ADD or whatever it is, it. but anyway, I'm, I'm, the ideas are all I going through. Yeah. All of a sudden then, when you can then go into this world, yes. and so on, it's unbelievable. Because it gives you that control over your mind. You know, I, I can say all these things that I want to do, but um, you know, if it's not the will of my father, then as you can see, I don't have a massive birthday 21 party with friends and friends. I think it's a, it's a, it's a detriment to rely on friends um, at this point in our lives. Because when you have friends, you are influenced and you start you look at what others are doing and you start comparing yourself to others. And I think that's a terrible thing. Learn, oh, other people's opinions really matter. Boy, and boy. this is boy, views boy. for like, what are women boy. just drowning in? Like, what is crushing women at other people's opinions? Bingo. They live their life terrified of failure, terrified to try, terrified that they're getting it wrong because their mother-in-law will disapprove, or the girls that they went to high school with, or, you know, they're gonna see me on Facebook and they're gonna watch me. It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy because those people that you're so terrified of their opinion of you, those people are not the ones who will live with the regret. There you go. Those people are not the ones who can't afford to take their kids on vacation. Those mm. people are not the ones who are struggling for it. Like all these things that you want for your life, mm. but you're too afraid to reach for because of what other people will think. Mm. Those other people are not gonna be there when it sucks and it's hard for you. That's all on you. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about the future, mainly because it's very uncertain. It's a mess, but you know. Try, try to learn as much as much as possible that allows you to predict the future or make the future. So the saying is the best way to predict the future is to make it. I've read the book um, Practicing Mindfulness in Everyday Life. I think that's the name of the book. The the author, you know, made a point that we we live our lives um, for the next destination. We are always looking for the next thing. Um, and he made a point about just living for now. There, there is no other goal or other place. This is it. I think it's important to have expectations for the future, but but keep it realistic. If your dreams come true, then good. If, if they don't, then it, it was not meant to be. You have to be committed to what you want to make happen and then make it happen. And you have to have the right estimation of what it's going to take and how long it's going to take. If the things that happen to me seems good in my earthly eyes, then you know I'm glad. In the same vein, I'm not you know sad when bad things happen because it's part of the 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 bigger plan, the bigger picture, which we don't usually see. I just quickly want to add something to what I just said. It's very important to be emotionless in whatever you are doing. If it goes well, then you know be thankful for that, appreciate that. 
but if things aren't going your way you know don't let that sway your emotions that is something that stock traders especially they know this that's why they create algorithms because an algorithm also wins an algorithm also takes losses but it never gets swayed because it doesn't have emotions is that you need to be emotionless if you make a lot of money or if you lose a lot of money you just need to be straight face emotionless and that was my problem so that's why I took a step back I need to make sure I focused on school I couldn't have these really bad days anymore because that would just bring down everything if I didn't want to work on a project then I would like it was just really bad I think talking into a camera for my 21st birthday is much more fulfilling and rewarding than you know spending the time with people that you know friends that care about you i genuinely believe that what the internet's doing right now gives the disproportionate advantage to the people that start off at the bottom because the cost of entry used to be blocked by the people at the top but now the internet is the game technically speaking i'm still young in the grand scheme of things you know gary v things that guys who are 50 years old are still young 21 years and I still have all my fingers I still have all my toes I, um, I have a good vision I'm my health is extremely good and I'm very thankful for that you never know you just never know suddenly one one day they could be perfectly healthy the next day they could get sick and as you get older if you know what I'm talking about you see people around you your friends that some of them, they might get sick, they might pass away. It just reminds me of how short life is and sometimes how fragile life is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do something else in this video, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't drink, so um, I don't have whiskey right now. Um, but I do have, um, I don't even have coffee. Um, I want to make a toast, but uh, okay. Here's my, it's, it's empty though. Here's to the future, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm excited and terrified in the same breath, so let's see what happens.